What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Devin Haney versus Jorge Linares, which is a 12-rounder for the WBC Lightweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, May 29th, from the Metrolope Ultra Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this fight is broadcasted on the zone. And in this fight, Devin Haney was able to get a unanimous decision victory over Jorge Linares to defend his WBC Lightweight World title for the third time and to get his 26th victory. Uh, in my opinion, I scored the fight 116-112 in favor of Haney. And uh, later on, he actually had a scare. He got hurt really, really bad at the end of the 10th round. I mean, this, in my opinion, was a clear 116-112. Uh, two of the judges scored at 116-112, one of them scoring at 115-113. And yes, those scorecards are fairly close. I thought that Haney would be able to get the stoppage, but he did not. But as I said before, he got really, really hurt. At the end of that 10th round, he got hit with a beautiful combination from Linares, and he got wobbled while going back to his corner. Then in, the, and then in that 11th round, his legs were not there. He was stomping his legs out. He was clenching, and I was screaming at the TV for the referee, Russell Moore, to take away a point because Haney was just clenching Linares, and his legs were not there. He was getting clobbered around the ring. He was backing up hugging Linares, not engaging into the fight, and that could have been a 10-8 round if you're one of those people who scores it that way just based off of the fact who's active and who's not because Linares easily outlanded and dominated that round. But in that 12th round, Haney sort of got his legs back but then got wobbled once again, started clinching. Russell Moore then warned Haney, even though he should have deducted a point for holding because he held literally 30 times in 6 minutes. Then uh, Lenores wobbled Haney again with a beautiful right hand. I mean, Haney got wobbled bad in those last three rounds. And that definitely poses the question, how will he take power from uh, possibly Gervonta Davis, even Ryan Garcia, or Tiafimo Lopez? Those are all great fighters who are at the top uh, 135 who carry a lot of power. But what is next for Devin Haney? I don't think he's going to fight Tifimo Lopez. I don't think he's going to fight Gervonta Davis. I think the zone is going to keep him safe, keep him where he's at, and fight someone who, who's somewhere around the top 10, top 15. I do, can't really think of any names right now because I'm not really too familiar with anyone outside that top 10 at lightweight. I could name a few guys, but they wouldn't really make sense. I mean, out of nowhere, who knows? It could just be like Errol Spence Jr. fighting Manny Pacquiao. They might just name the two top guys fighting each other in that division because Lomachenko is busy with um, Nagatani, so that top guy in Lomachenko is not going to fight Haney. Obviously, Javante Davis is busy with, um, I believe, Mario Barrios, and uh, George Camboso is obviously fighting Tifimo Lopez, and Devin Haney's coming off a fight here. And um, who else is there? There's also Ryan Garcia, who just took a quote-unquote health break when he was supposed to fight um, Javier Fortuna in July. So I'm not really too sure what's next for Devin Haney. Uh, maybe Luke Campbell, if they make that fight. I mean, that would be fairly odd, considering that uh, Luke Campbell is coming off a defeat. I mean, he could possibly fight the winner of Javier Fortuna versus... Um, Jojo Diaz for the WBC interim title. I mean, that would be sort of lined up for late 2021, maybe early 2022. I'm not really too sure about that one. That's a possibility. But, uh, yeah, that overall, I mean, Devin Haney got a decent win. A one on points, like many people predicted. I thought he would get the stoppage. That did not happen. But uh, what is next for uh, Jorge Linares? I think he should retire. I mean, this is a sixth defeat. He's sort of getting older. Uh, and he did really show a good... Good performance here. I mean, he looked decent. At, later on, he was able to hurt Devin Haney, the young prospect slash champion. I mean, Haney really hasn't been tested until now, and Linares really gave him a good test. And this definitely really showed where Haney ranks at lightweight right now. And overall, like leading up to that 10th round, I mean, Haney was winning almost every single round. Aside from that fourth round, I did nod in favor of Linares. But overall, uh, Devin Haney, as I said before, had a decent performance. One via unanimous decision defended his WBC Lightweight World title and got his 26th victory. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.